assalamu alaikum i dr iqbal ahmed khan ap from forensic medicine today we have a topic blood group system and its medical legal importance which are a key role importance medical legally as a scientific evidence to justify the forensic subject the type of forensic evidence include physical biological drugs and other physical evidence the term trace evidence is mainly thought as any type of evidence occurring in size so small that it can be transferred or exchanged between the surface without being noticed serological evidence consisting of blood and other body fluid is commonly encountered in offense related to the body blood evidence is of value in such a crime as murder rape assault abortions hit and run accidents and the law violations it may aid an investigated or investigation by locating the crime scene by identifying the weapon used by proving or disproving a suspect alibi and by eliminating suspect it can also be used for the identification of bodies when simple samples from parents and or the children of the missing persons are available here is this slides where the blade is stand uh is mentioned uh, where you find that the blood stain will be found in the medical legal cases especially in on the body and the cloth of the victim and assailant at the side of the crime that is the earth floor grass furniture and the weapon of assault or offense like knife axe and maybe the firearm weapons next the point to be mentioned as regarding the stain one must to be uh, the nature of the stain and the, uh, either the blood or something else or if due to if you uh, due to blood the species it has come from either the human or the animal if the human the groups to which it belong the blood grouping there are 30 basic blood group system including the abo and the ra system which are the currently recognized the study and the identification of antigen and antibody form the basis of the classification of the blood into various groups the most important being the abo and the ra system the blood group system is based on red cell antigen blood protein enzymes and the white cell antigen in the grouping based on red cell antigen depending on the type of antigen important blood group systems are in this abo mn and rh grouping which based on the blood protein that is the plasma protein important one are the heptoglobin alpha 2 globin g c and the gm and i and v immunoglobin hemoglobin types the grouping based on the enzymes the phosphoglucometase erythrocytic acid phosphatase and the glycoxylate 1 esterase and adenylate kinase these are the system the grouping based on the white cell antigen that is the hls system secretor status the secretor it is a great value in the medical legal study when the blood stain are not available the secretor phenomena is intimately related to the lewis blos blood group antigen in abo system antigen found on the outer surface of the red cells and corresponding antibodies in serum 
a significant proportion of individuals are secretors which means that antigen which are present in their blood will also be found in other body fluid such as saliva semen gastric juice vaginal fluid in a high concentration and in a low concentration it is found in the sweats tear and the urine a secretor or a non secretor is completely independent of its blood types a b a b and o suggesting that someone can be an a secretor or an a non secretor a b secretors or a b non secretor here is the abo and rs system and you can find that in this four slides the first one is the blood type a in the blood type a you will see that there rbcs the red blood uh, blood cell surface have the antigen a in the blood type a where is the plasma it has the anti b antibodies where is the blood type b groups the red blood cell has antigen b where is the in plasma it has anti a antibodies the blood group of type ab you can find there is antigen a and b on the surface of the rbcs where is no antibodies in the in the plasma blood type o there is anti anti a antibodies and anti b antibodies in the plasma where is no antigen on the surface of the rbc in rh system the rh system has two genes d and c that are inherited together to give a number of rh haplotypes where a person inherit a dn genes their red cells are positive when tested with anti d and that person is said to be rh d positive where a person does not inherit a d gene their red cells are negative when tested with the anti d and that persons are referred to as rh t negative blood group inheritance the different blood group in various systems such as abo mn rh gm and the pgm ap and the gl1 are hereditary factors and their inheritance is governed by two principle the principle one group characteristic are established at an early age they are specific to the individuals and once established they are unchanged throughout the life the principle 2 is characteristic of antigen are inherited as per mendelis law of heredity therefore the individual cannot pass any antigen which both the parents lack detection of the blood group in stain there is two methods which are used immunological and the zymological in the immunological there is the absorption illusion absorption inhibitions mixed agglutination and the lecherous crest method where in the enzymological and the electrophoretic methods it include vertical rays vertical and horizontal slabs isoelectric focusing cellulase that is the acetate membrane in the immunological methods that is the liter lecherous crest methods it is it's of a limited routine use in laboratory it rely upon the abo agglutinin antibody in the blood stain gets decomposed during exposure therefore applicable only to fresh blood stain and there is the absorption inhibition method and here is it is for the dry blood stain it's a classical method for detecting antigen in sensitive in sensitive as compared to more recent techniques it's proved satisfactory for the grouping in abo system absorption illusion technique 
it's highly satisfactory for the abo rh mn grouping and the very small amount the one mm dry blood strain is enough here is the four step for this method step one place anti serum on blood strain step two the wash off unreacted serum for three heat stand material to cause illusions of antigen antibody bond step four the combined antibodies from blood stand with non rbc's if agglutination occur then the blood stand can be typed the fourth last one is the mix agglutinations it proved very satisfactory for the abo systems but not suitable for mna and rh typing technique is probably equivalent in sensitive to the illusion test and the procedure is finally tis blood stain fibers are submerged in the anti serum after a period of absorption onboard antibody is washed away fibers are suspended in the indicator cell suspensions of appropriate group and rotated agglutination occur between absorbed antibody and the indicator cell the second group that is the electrophoretic enzymological method it depend on differential migration of protein enzyme in the electric fields and as a supporting medium the gel of agars cellulose acetate starch and the polyacrylamide these are the supporting me medias method utilized for the identification of biochemical markers of various protein and isoenzyme system modify versions of electrophoresis isoelect focusing a gradient ph from positive to negative electrodes is instead of the constant ph in uh, is arranged using a star gel electrophoresis isoenzymes of phospho glutamates and the six phospho gluconates dehydrogenase estrase d erythrocytic acid phosphatase and the adenylate kinase could be detected in the blood stain up to a varying periods of storage the cellulose acetate membrane method utilized for a number of enzyme including pgm limitation of this stain grouping the amount of the blood is small the blood stain are not sterile test only for agglutination occurring carried out so that absolute diagnosis for blood group is not possible abo gm rh and mn system are used routinely abo and gm are the most stable system and have a good discrimination power where is the rh also a good discrimination power but antigen are not stable and and hence it can give good result provided the article of examination are received within 4 hours amine grouping in dry blood is difficult and disappointing the medical legal application importance this is the main achievement of is the establishment of the individuality dispute paternity and the maternity and the blood transfusion reaction inheritance claim establishment of the individuality the cellular part and the serum of the blood po blood poses a large number of factor which may be immunological like antigen or antibody or biochemical like protein and enzyme this factor form the basis of the blood group system group system consists of two or more phenotypes based on the presence of substance called as a biochemical marker of the individuality blood group factors a p m and n are highly resistant to dry heating and to the actions of other physical and chemical influences possible to detect their presence even in the blood stain 
Consequently, the tests are considerably potential value in criminal investigation and establishing the individuality. Another is the stand found on the clothing of suspect and their claim that it is their own blood may be disproved by finding that their own blood belongs to a different group than the blood stain. A stain on the clothing of a victim may be similarly examined for the purpose of determining whether or not they are of a blood group similar to that of the blood of the victim or the suspect. Individualization of the blood. The potential for the individualization of the blood is based on the typing of the protein and enzyme. Blood protein and enzyme have the quality of having polymorphism or isoenzymes, which means they exist in a several form and variant. Most people are familiar with at least one common polymorphism in blood, that is the hemoglobin, which causes the sickle cell anemia. For the detection of the dispute paternity and the maternity, we have blood groups, DNA profiling, which is the which is the build a hundred percent definite and the corporative evidence. Today we have concerned the blood groups only. Distributed paternity on the blood groups. The blood groups are inherited as per Mendelian principles, that is, a blood group antigen cannot appear in a child unless it is present in one of the parents. And second point, if one of the parents is homozygous for a particular blood group antigen, that antigen must appear in the child blood. Number three, if a child is homozygous for a particular blood group antigen, the gene for the same must have been inherited by it from each of the parents. The possible and impossible children in a various blood group in this column, where you can see that the blood group of parents, if they are both O positive, the possible blood group of the children is O and the impossible blood group children are the A, B and the AB. In the last you have seen if the parents are both AB and AB blood groups, their possible blood groups of the children is A, B and AB where this impossible blood group of children is O. The second column is, is the same possible and the impossible children in various group, blood group, that is the MN blood group and the RS blood group system. In the first, you have seen the blood group of the parents, if they are both M as in the serial number one, the possible blood group of children is M and the impossible are the MN and the N. And the last six serial number, you have seen that parents, one parents have MN and the another was the N group. And here is the possible blood group for the children is the N and the MN, whereas the impossible is the M. Whereas RH blood group, in the first you have seen the both parents are RH positive. The po Possible blood group for the children is the Rh positive and the Rh negative, whereas impossible is done. Where is the in serial number three? You see the parents are Rh negative. Both parents are the Rh negative and the possible is the Rh positive. Rh negative, sorry. And the impossible is the Rh positive. Next. Blood transfusion reactions, they are the immune mediated transfusion reactions. 
and to mismatch or incapability of the transfused products and the recipient. Naturally occurring antibodies in the blood recipient such as anti-A, anti-B which are typically responsible for the acute hemolytic transfusion reaction. Antibodies made in response of foreign antigen. These alloantibodies account for many reactions including mild allergy, febrile, non-hemolytic, acute hemolytic and the anaphylactic. Antibodies present in the blood donor can also cause reaction and are thought to be involved in the transfer, transfusion associated lungs injuries. And the non-immunologic reactions are the physical effects of the blood component or the transmission of the disease. Here is bacterial contamination, for example, result in septic transfusion reactions and it is caused by the bacterial and the endotoxin contamination of the blood products. The third one is the transfusion reaction unrelated to the factor intrinsic to the blood. Example of this include transfusion associate volume overload and hypothermia. To summarize in this column, the transfusion reaction it's divided into acute and the delay. Acute we have says within the 24 hours and as we have mentioned here immunological and the non-immunologic. In the immunologic hemolytic, febrile, non-hemolytic, allergic and transfusion related. Acute lungs injury. Where is the non-immunological? It is the bacterial contamination, circulatory overloads, and the physical and chemical hemolysis. In the delay reactions, the immunological are the hemolytic, transfusion associated host disease, post-transfusion perfusion, and the non-immunological is the transfusion induced hemocidrosis and the disease transmission. The transfusion errors and the adverse reaction is related to capitability testing in the blood in the laboratory, neglect of expired days, presence of pathogenic organism in the transfused blood. The RH hazards is mentioned here in the slide are the hemolytic disease of the newborn, unexpected reaction in case of compatible ABO blood Transfusion has given Rh negative mother receive Rh antigen from the fetus though placenta in, through placenta in Rh positive child, children, the father being Rh positive. Rh antigen produce Rh antibody in the mothers. Mother develop hemolytic reaction if transfused with Rh positive blood after birth of the child. Another one is the anti-RH agglutinin pass through the mothers by the way of placenta into the fetus RH positive who may develop hydrops, erythroblastosis fetalis and the hemolytic disease of the newborn. If a transfusion reaction is suspected, what the treatment you have done? Immediately stop the transfusion. Disconnect the intravenous line from the needles. Do not disconnect uh, the unit from IV side. Seek medical attention immediately. Check to ensure that the patient name, registration number on the blood bag label exactly with the information on the patient identification. Wristband attached to his or her wrist. Do not bypass this step by assuming that the patient's true identity is known. Do not discard the unit of blood that has been discontinued because it may be necessary for the investigation of the transfusion reaction. You have to be record type of transfusion reaction, time lapse between start of transfusion and the reaction occur, the volume, type and the back number of the blood product, product transfused. Immediately take post-transfusion blood sample from the vein opposite side of the inter investigation and perform. 
repeat ABO and RHD group, repeat antibody screen and the cross match, full blood count, coagulation screen, direct antiglobin test, and the urea creatine because in such a to toxic results, the kidney must damage. Urea and creatine is the, uh, to define how much the kidney and you, how much the functions of the kidney. Okay, it's enough. Uh, thank you very much.